Hey, Doherty. Right. This is Doherty Valley. It's Doherty right. Valley, Santa Moon, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Hey, we're at the West High Camp Contact Camp. <laughs> we got Manteca on offense against Doherty Valley. Uh, we're gonna talk to Eric Reese a little bit. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What's kind of the goal? You know, the thing is, is you finally get pads on, you find out who's really a player and who's a pretender. So that's kind of what we're finding out this week. I've seen your uh, seen your seven on seven guys a couple of times. See all the skill guys. Tell me about your line. What, what are you looking at this year, and how's it compared to what we've seen in the past? You know, this is probably going to be one of our best offensive lines we've had at the school. And we think that's saying something. We've had a pretty good tradition of line play. We definitely have a couple of guys that are third-year seniors. We've got a couple of linemen that started last year, so we definitely feel like the line's the strength of our team. And again, it's on paper is one thing, but you got to do it on the field, and hopefully that's what we can get going. Isaac McLean, is he the one here on the end? Yeah, 77? Yeah, he's 77. Who's 75? 79 is Billy Sherman. Okay, he's the other career guy, right? Yeah. Now, you got them stacked up on the same side. Is there a reason, or is that just natural positions? You know, they've always played together since they were sophomores. Okay. What's the advantage of having them back for a third year? Just the knowledge of the game. Besides that, yeah, that helps, too. Yeah, okay. I know you're talking big, big humans and smarts and... Uh, Communication is so important for a line, that continuity, and obviously playing together for three years, we're hoping that will help with you know picking up blitz and backers and stunts and stuff like that. Who's 34? Uh, Jacob Ladon. Okay. Jacob was a uh, starting outside backer for us last year. Okay. Are we back there? Is more running back this year? Or do you um, know who backs are? Yeah, we have a couple. Jacob will be definitely part of the equation. Um, Alex, where is Alex at? He's the one that ran the first one. Alex Laurel is another guy we think. Um, okay. Hector Soto is the guy running right now. So there's a we got a crowded backfield, so we told them it's going to be who wants to play and who's going to make something happen. Okay. Is that Menzo? Yes. Okay. That's Joe. Is he a quarterback this year? Yes. Okay, so I'm still in seven. Got some nice outside guys. Yeah. Uh, Valley Oak League. Oak Hill loses just about everybody, okay? Sierra loses Coda. Somebody chases you guys this year right here. Oakdale's always the team to beat. How many years in a row they won? I <laughs> know. Until, until they're beat. Uh, you got to beat the champ. And if you want to be the champ, you better beat them. <laughs> What's it take to beat them this year? You better not make mistakes. And uh, for us, we play them at the corral. Uh, I've never won at the corral, so it's not an easy huh? place to win. Okay. So uh, we got our work cut out for us for sure. Coach Murs on his staff do a phenomenal job. You got a city revolves around a team, and obviously they were in a state championship last year, so they will not die easily. We know that. Okay. <laughs> hey, schedule wise, you guys met Central Valley early on. Yep. They're good. Oh, yeah. a quarterback. Well, yeah, Gardner. I mean, you know that guy. You got electric. Um, how, how do you match? You seem bigger than them, but is it a kind of a size speed issue? Though? You know, partly we knew too is they're going to run the spread. Hey, that's you know, defense. On defense. They're going to run the spread. Good. And we know with Gardner and the quarterback, they have some electrifying athletes. So we want to see that. You know, we got to get ready for Sierra. We got to get ready for West Ranch. Other teams that have that type of talent in our league. And then we, our second game, we play Wilcox. And Wilcox out of San Jose, they open up um, with Valley Christian is yeah. their first game, which Valley Christian is probably arguably one of the top like, three oh, or yeah. four programs in the Bay Area. So um, well, Wilcox is a real good running back, too. Yes, they do. He is a his name, absolute load. Nothing. Yeah, no, we watch on film and it's like, oh, my gosh. So, again, our thought is if, if you want to be good, you better play good people. So that's our thought on that one for okay. sure. Then we have Los Banos, which obviously Los Banos beat us last year. Um, a town, a community that's uh, been real good in football a lot of years. So we got that. That's our preseason. They got no softies this year. No, no, for sure. <laughs> then we open up uh, VOL with Sonora, which I know I think Sonora is pretty good this year. I know that. They have a championship sophomore team, so they'll be very tough. Okay. Hey, Richard Strong, Backhead Football. Thanks for letting us jump into your life for a while. Absolutely. Thank you.